First thing we need to do is remove this cover. So with this cover off, you're gonna remove the red cover here, which just pulls off of the switch, and then turn the switch off. And then I like to put it back on the other direction so that you can't accidentally turn it on. Okay, to take the back right shelf off, uh, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew these really odd plastic pieces. A lot of times if they don't come out, this one is coming out, but you can stick a flathead under here to help it out. So with those guys out, there's two bolts here and there, and we have to undo these plastic trim pieces here. And we can undo this piece right here, this bolt, it's a 10 millimeter. And there's another one right there. Okay, and with that, you can take and pull this forwards and then out. We need to take the plastic pieces off of the side here. And to remove these, you need to remove the door sill because it has an interlocking piece. So make sure you have all the tabs. If you've left any of the tabs, you can of course put them back in. I've left this white tab here. All right, so now we're gonna remove three plastic clips that hold this carpet down. And then we're gonna pull the carpet over and remove these six screws. To remove the IMA cover, we need to use a T30 bit to remove these six screws. And then we need to use a 10 millimeter to remove a lot more screws. The last thing we need to do is we need to remove a bolt that's in here, that's the eight millimeter. So with all the bolts out of the way, we can now pull this cover up and then out. So now that we have the cover removed, the first thing we need to do is make sure that there's no remaining voltage in the power delivery unit. To do that, we're gonna set our multimeter to volts mode, and you're gonna make sure that there's no voltage from positive to negative here. So I'm gonna just put positive to negative, and you can see I have zero volts here. So that's good. That means the capacitors inside the power delivery unit have discharged. So now that we've done that, we can remove the styrofoam pieces. We now uh, need to remove these bars across the top. So there's two of them. There's one here and there's one there. This bar will not be reinstalled. This guy comes off, we will be reinstalling it, so keep it handy. The front one has part of the IMA wire harness on it. You need to remove the high voltage DC-DC connector. I'll take my finger, I'm gonna find that tab, I'm going to push it forwards, and then that lets you slide this DC-DC connector off. Once you've done that, there's another tab on the bottom, which I'm pushing with my right thumb. You can see this arm come up here. And once I do that, I pull, that disconnects the uh, high voltage DC-DC connector. And then I like to just go ahead and snap that back on. The next thing we need to do is we need to remove the ground that goes to the capacitors on the HVDC bus. That is this cable right here. And then I like to take this eyelet and stick it in the cover right there. Next, we're gonna grab our 10 millimeter and we're gonna undo the PDU HVDC bus. Okay, so next up, we're going to remove all of the low voltage connectors here. And the way I like to do it is I push the tab in by hand and then I pull on the sides of the connectors. Don't yank out the wires because they're real thin gauge and they can break. We don't need to remove these three because we're not actually taking this part out. So it's only these three connectors that need to come out. On the blue one here, I take a flathead and I like to cam it in there. And that way I don't have to pull on the, the wires. You know, you don't want to pull on the wires like that. So I just cam it with a screwdriver instead. And that gets us out of the way there.
There's five more connectors we need to do, actually six. The sixth one is the fan connector, which again, you just push, pull the fan connector off. Now on these IMA connectors on the MCM, again, I use a flathead and I pry the connector out. Now first there's a tab on the bottom I have to push, and then I use the flathead to undo these connectors. That way you don't have to pull on the wires. You don't need to unplug both of the BCM connectors on the back right now, but it's okay if you do. You really only need to pull the one on the driver's side because it's attached to the IMA wire harness. And then there's one more tab here that's just attaching the harness. And then you can see it is mounted to the uh, bar here. And we, we actually can just leave that attached for now. And, all right, next we need to remove this aluminum cross member here. It's four bolts. Okay, now we've zoomed in uh, near the front of the IMA bay. For reference, the front of the car is that direction. And we are going to take a 10 millimeter bolt off of this air intake. And then there is a 12 millimeter bolt down here we need to remove. So I'll pull this bolt out. Okay, on the passenger side here, this is the uh, front of the car is this direction. Uh, we have an, an air plenum, we just took the bolt out of this. And if we pull this air plenum and the middle mat aluminum piece up, that we're gonna find one more bolt hiding down here. All right, we've got two more 12 millimeter bolts to take out. All right, now we're gonna just move the IMA wire harness kind of up and out of the way. So now we're ready to take the battery out. And to do it, it's best to have a helper sitting in the car in the passenger seat. So there's multiple ways to do this. Uh, I like to sit on the back plate here. Don't touch anything on the left side of this board because um, there are energized components here. Uh, also, this cable is high voltage, but it is very well insulated, so you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, but otherwise, you can touch the right side, anything here, here, and underneath. So it's really just the left side that you don't want to touch as you're pulling the battery out of the car. Uh, so there's three handles on the battery. There's one handle right here. There's a handle hiding right there. And there's a third handle right there. I do most of the lifting with this handle right here. And the goal is to set it on my knee. So your helper is gonna grab this handle here and the front handle. And you're gonna pick it up. And again, the goal is just to get it on your knee here. I'm gonna also grab in on this handle a little bit. And then once it's on your knee, you're gonna rotate out and set the pack on this pre-staged table.